now I have Anna create all the images for me. So what I'm going to do is go to the power editor and replace those images. Uh, so I can for uh, proceed to the next step and what we're going to do is starting from the first the almond milk let's do this one by one uh, with those downloading we, what we can do is download them all and then it's gonna zip it for you and when you download it's gonna be a zip file and uh, but it's much easier than download them one by one A second. Go inside. Now we can see the, those files are already done, approved. And what we're gonna do is, uh, one of Anna's really good habit is try is to uh, make other people's work easier you see she named the image with the title of the blog so I don't need to go inside and and click them and to check what what they are actually are what I need to do is just okay now I'm going I'm, I'm matching this one with this one so I'll need to upload this image this is why I really like Anna's work it's helping with each other right should make my work much 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 more easier so I have this one done and replaced and beautiful and let's go to the next one and go here upload image this one is when finish the flu flu this one confirm and I change the third one is five ways to get blah 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 confirm Fourth. kickboxing for upload perfection Six ways to make water fun. Stretch it. Let's wait until it's set, set to draft. If you move too fast, it's not going to save your work.
Remember, don't rush. Wait until it's showing up to you. And now I'm done editing the images. And now uh, let's test them out. What I'm going to do is upload them all. And now, why did I do, why when the images are not ready, I didn't want to uh, uh, say, I, I didn't want to do the next step? Because uh, in Facebook ads, every time you create an ad, every time you change the ad copy or the image or anything, the link, URL inside the post ID, the ad post ID will change. So I don't really want to do that because the post ID is going to change and I don't want to uh, copy that post ID again because it's going to be a, a headache or the mess to do that. So I want to make them one ad set all finished, ads inside are finished, and make sure they are. Um, Done, and then I can create another one because and also in interest part what I can do is I can use post ID and to sum up all the uh, interests together to make them it's gonna show pending review again because it's all totally different let's go to page posts and now you're gonna see a different page posts Come on, show up. It's gonna show the new page post with the new image soon here. So we call this as not not. We can actually if the client said. Uh, you create some ads inside of a power editor or ads manager and the client said, okay, I want you to post this ad in my page, in their Facebook page. So what you need to do is to go to the page post part and then trying to um, publish the posts here. But now I'm going to do is to copy the post ID all at once of the nine ads I just created. I just uh, revised. So here, those are the nine ads I just I just finished. What I'm going to do is I'm copy them all into a notes. It's gonna take some time because it has many uh, images. So this is the post ID that come after. This are the post ID and also it's showing you one of the image here. So I know this is a post ID, post ID, post ID. So what I'm going to do is I copy all the post ID all at once, big, and I don't need to actually go inside of each of the each of the the ad and the showing the ad and then trying to copy. If it's just uh, one or two, you can do that. But if it's nine of them, you don't really want to do that because that's gonna be time consuming. So what you're gonna do is to go to the page posts and then copy them all just make sure you copy the right one because every time you change the ad it's gonna change it's gonna uh, change the post ID will change so there will be a lot of different um, ads inside of page posts uh, either uh, even you save the one as draft and then you edit them and you never pu published the, the the draft ones it will be still inside of the page posts area so that's why here i have one warm traffic created what i'm going to do and i have nine ads inside of them what i'm going to do now is to duplicate one ad set 
in the, in the other ad set, I will target the lookalikes, 50% 50, 50, um, 50 video viewer. Uh, that's why we create uh, the video viewer in the, after we finish the awareness part ads. It's all prepared for the next step. The next step is the interest part. Um, come on. Because I'm uploading um, some video now, so it's it's actually a little bit slow for me. Okay, so I click uh, duplicate, and it's showing me the duplicating conversion ad. And now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change two area in the ad set. And I will change the ads in this new ad set uh, using the post ID. And that's all for it, this one. So the ad title, the ad set name will be lookalike 50% BB. Budget keep them the same. Here, I'll delete them because those are for only one traffic. I will add look like fifty percent viewer. So now you see there's a lot of people, and you still want to keep those location age and uh, gender targeting because you want a specific you want to make sure they are inside of the area you're not targeting outside of people because they can share the ads previously and then I'm just the, after change those two things I'm done with the audience and now what I'm going to do is to use the post ID here let's do one by one remember this image and click edit Use the existing post and go to the notes. Find the alma milk. Do the alma milk is the post ID and enter post ID. While I'm doing it this way, um, I'm actually combining two ads into one. So the original ad was. Is uh, will be running from the warm traffic ad set in a while in the other ad set in the uh, lookalike ad set I'm using the post ID means this ad is actually based on the, uh, the warm traffic ads so anything that you change with it and, and then all the, uh, the likes shares comments um, that they gave to any of the ads they gave to the and a warm audience one will show up here and uh, if they are like or share here on the, this ads and it will also show up in the warm audience part that's why we would like to use this way that's how the post ID works post ID means you grab the, the post ID the, the one ad in, in, and place them into another ad set so they're actually the same thing and then the, the comments, shares, likes are all will be showing at the same one and be gathered in one ad that's much better than you create different ad and then it, although you're launching uh, the same content but they are actually getting the comments and likes and shares in two different ads.
why I'm following numbers because you don't never know that if you are gonna be disturbed, you will, if you will be disturbed while you're doing this, or if you're gonna keep hundred concentrate. So if I don't follow a number, I will never know if I'm finish all of them. Now I know I have finished until one to three or five, and I'm going to the sixth one. And uh, this is why I like to use uh, notes because notes gonna also paste the, the the image, so it's easier for me to to distinguish which one is which one. And I need to change. Okay, now if I select them all, I need to double check my work. Even if it's done by me, by, by myself, I still need to double check. Make sure I didn't fuck up anything. So if it's not, it's if I select every all of them, it's going to show existing post. If if you didn't change any of them, if you didn't change, if you didn't change any of them, it's going to show mixed value. It means you have one that you forget to change. So now I know that I already changed all of them and it's showing me the preview and it's different image means I already changed all of them. What am I going to do is I review the change. So that's for the ad creating. We're not done yet. Wait. Okay, now I have uploaded all changes in the new ad set. Mm -mm. Every time, uh, in, I, I don't know if you have noticed that, every time you review the changes, Facebook is going to show you all ads all together. So what you're going to do is go to the campaign level, select the, the campaign that you're editing now, and don't let Facebook confuse you. To ad set, make sure this one has ads inside. Yes, it's a pending review now. So I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is, I'm done with the ads editing, but I'm not done with the whole ADA interest process yet. What I'm going to do is remember I told you where the ADA, the whole AID, a the whole AID is all are all um, preparing for the last action ads. So I'm going to prepare for it, and then go to the audience size, audience part. We're gonna create blog visitor for those ads and now for the blog visitor you know I create an task for Anna and I copy the links my inbox I copy the links for Anna in that task so this is also make my work easier is to um, let me create the custom one. Remember the blog, the link, uh, the blog visitor is the same thing as you create the custom audience, the website activity. People who visit the specific web page in the last 180 days and contains the following things. What's what are the following things? I'm gonna copy all of them. Let's see if I can copy them all. Nope. So uh, I need to copy them on that one. Not too bad. 
remember I still don't want to have that HTTP yet. Always don't want that HTTP. No matter if it's gonna affect or not, I still don't want to come uh, include them. Take your time, don't mess up. Almost, almost create the rest of the notes. So there are nine of them. That's it. And now I'm gonna do is log eight. But this client is a little bit special because he has two, she has two website, and uh, this one is cut the com blog visitor. One hundred eighty days. Create all this. Mm, done. It's populating, but I'm not running that yet. So, and uh, for this client, I know that I can launch the, uh, I can launch this now because oh, we've been running the ADA awareness for a while. Let me see how we launch this. We've been running this performance week. We've been running this for um, should be five per day, right? No, it's been five per day. So now we can launch the ADA interest and post the awareness. Why? Because now I'm uh, I'm done with the. Um, I've running the awareness for a while, and in the last the lifetime, check the lifetime value for the ADA inter uh, awareness. And you see the lifetime, and you see the frequency is really, 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 really high, and the, the cost per cost per three seconds view is going to more than one cent. Things it's been running too long, so now I'm. Switch to the interest part. Actually, we need to switch this earlier, but because I don't really have time to create this, so we we done this now. After that, we're not done yet. We're gonna do Playa. Remember, I have nine ads in one ad set. We're gonna we're not gonna launch all nine ads together. It's gonna overwhelm, and uh, no, and uh, because we don't have. We don't really have enough budget. We have only five per ad set, so we're gonna run three ads in each two days. Wait until it's load. See, it's showing the ADA interest in my ads. And then rotation in every two days 
show three ads on save and Sam as this one and we choose this show three ads save so now Quaya are gonna help me to rotate those ads and I don't need to manually do that and I'm spending the Sam as before then that's all for today and tomorrow I still gonna go inside and check if Quaya is doing its job if not, I'm going to redo Quaya. I can't fire Quaya, but I will, I will need to redo Quaya because currently it's pending review. So after it's all active, you uh, Quaya might have some, you know, software always have bugs. So still need to reconfirm.